God's peace be with you. As we read in Leviticus 19, God gave Moses various rules of conduct. As God formed the people he would call his own, when he entered into covenant with Israel, he already told them the way they were to live. He told them how they are to be his people. He already gave them the key to a life of peace, joy, and prosperity. They were to relate properly to himself and to each other. Now, Christians today are the new Israel, the new people of God. We too are in covenant with him. And how God wants to relate to us is the same as it was before with his people Israel. In our relationship with God, we are to look to him, to obey and follow him, to be like him. In Leviticus 19 verse 2, we read what God tells Moses to tell the people. Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. To be holy is to be set apart. We are to be in the world, but not of the world. We violate this instruction whenever we fail to give God the awe and worship that He deserves. Whenever we sin and stray away from His path. Whenever we replace Him with idols of money or wealth or power. Whenever we become indistinguishable from the secular world we live in. Whenever we fail to move persistently along the path of righteousness and seek Christian perfection. The second relationship is with our brethren. When we look to God who is our Father, we also look to His other children. We are the family of God. All Christians are part of the body of Christ. Just as we are to be in right relationship with God, we are also to be in right relationship with each other. And what does that, what does, how does that happen? As we read in Leviticus 19 verse 18, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. How do we manifest love of neighbor? God gives various actions by which the Israelites were to relate to each other. They were to share their bounty with those less well off. They were not to steal from others or lie to them. They were not to exploit others in any way. They were not to demean others. They were to do justice to others. They were not to speak badly about others. They were to assist others, especially in their dire need. They were not to harbor hatred towards others. They were to correct others as appropriate. They were not to hold grudges nor take revenge on those who wronged them. Though the culture has changed tremendously today in the world, these are principles of relationships that are still relevant and meaningful. You can see how doing all these in relation to others, especially to our brethren in Christ, will bring peace into our lives and the life of the community. God has given the key to peace. But unfortunately, in the world, the world today, including most Christians, are not living out God's directions and ways. We do not honor, respect, and love God in the way we ought. We do not strive for holiness unto the Lord. We do not relate as true brethren to others, especially other Christians. We care only for ourselves and not for our neighbor, especially the poor. Do we then wonder that we have reaped the consequences? Our world is in darkness and in conflict. There is no peace. We need to recover what God has told our ancestors in faith from the very start. Indeed, Jesus himself preached the same thing, summarizing all the commandments into two, love of God and love of neighbor. God bless you.